Hey, what's going on guys? So, um, I want to talk about the Xbox One today because, well, I feel like talking about the Xbox One. Now, this is a console that when I first heard it, okay, when I first heard about an Xbox One, I was excited because back in the day, the Xbox 360 was the king. I don't care what anybody says in terms of price and in terms of gameplay, like performance for the games, it was king. The PS3 ran all its games like ass. I mean, let's be brutally honest here. It ran no games as good as it should have. Well, it ran some games good, but it didn't run as many... How do I say this? It didn't run that many games good, basically. And when I first heard about the Xbox One, I was excited, and then I was gonna get one, but at the time, I didn't have a job, so I couldn't afford one. And also, I kinda wanted to see more about the PS4, and the way it looks now, the Xbox One is in a bad, the Xbox just in general is in a bad spot. And I'm glad that I got a PS4 now because it just doesn't have any games. And I think that is the root problem with the Xbox One. Because the PS4, I mean, let's be honest, Sony has always had better exclusives. And Sony has the great, well, Sony has the all time greatest exclusives right now. I mean, let's look at the, um, let's look at their track record. They have Uncharted. They have God of War, they have Heavy Rain, they have uh, Beyond Two Souls, and what does Xbox have exactly? I mean, they have um, Gears of War, Killer Instinct, um, what else, what else, what else? Rise of the Tomb Raider was exclusive, ah, tongue twisted. Rise of the Tomb Raider was exclusive for the moment, and then that went back to um, that exclusivity deal, whatever it is, I guess it went up, and now it's coming to PS4, and it's already on PC now, so that's the only game that Xbox One had over Sony at the time. Like, it's the only thing it had over the PS4. Um, what else do they have? Um, Gears of War, and Halo, they have Halo. But I mean, let's be real, who actually plays Halo these days? I mean, there are people who do play it, but it's not necessarily a main, it's not as mainstream as it used to be. And I just feel like the biggest problem with the console itself is that it has no games whatsoever, and the games that it does have, well, it has no games. I, I'm, I can't, you know, for some reason I can't develop my words right now. But it has some games, but it's like all the multi-platform games run like ass. Complete ass. And I feel like what the Xbox One needs to save itself is better exclusives. I think when it boils down to everything, I think it needs better exclusives. Because if you really look at it, it doesn't have much compared to Sony. And when you're kind of like, if you put the two consoles together and compare them solely off exclusives, not multi-platform games... Xbox One really doesn't stand a chance. I mean, Uncharted 4 just came out a couple of months ago, and it was amazing, okay? That game truly lived up to the hype. And what has, X, what has you know, Xbox come up with? Like, what have they made that lived up to the hype? Quantum Break? Not really. Um, was that State of Decay? Uh, that game's kind of old, and I don't think anybody really plays it. I mean, it doesn't really have much, and I think that what it needs, I'm, re I'm you know, reiterating myself but I think what it needs is a exclusive it needs more exclusives I think when it bought when you boil down everything I mean price you know that's all good how much it costs and all that I think what it really boils down to is the exclusives because at this point there truly is no real reason for you to own an Xbox One if you have a PS4. There's really no reason. I mean the only reason I could think of is if your friends have an Xbox One and you want to play with them. Now I don't want this video to turn into an Xbox One bash video. I don't want to say that it's a piece of garbage. I don't want to say that it's a piece of shit. I don't want to... I don't want you to feel bad about your purchase if you have one. That's fine and dandy, that's great, that's awesome, and I hope you're having fun with your Xbox One. But I feel that if you own a PS4, there's really, and if you're thinking about getting an Xbox One, there's really no real reason. I mean, I just feel like when you compare the two, it's night and day. The PS4 has everything that you can ask for, while the Xbox One, eh, doesn't really have much. Now, I do believe that at some point, there will be that one game that makes you think, ooh, I think I should probably get an xbox one there, there will be one game i do think it can happen uh when i'm really not sure but i do think at some point there will be a game that is worth buying a console for and that's how you know a game is good when you will literally buy a console just to play a game the only real reason i wanted a ps4 was for metal gear the only real reason that i wanted to pull own a ps4 was strictly for the phantom pain that's the only real reason and i mean 
there's tons of games out there last of us like i said uncharted god of war a whole, a whole bunch of games and i don't gotta sit here and name every single one but there's a lot of exclusives that it, yeah. there's a lot of exclusives that the ps4 has and i just think that Xbox One needs to step up their game. They need to make something that's great. Now, of course, I don't really have any ideas of what they can make that'd be great, but I think they need to come up with a real, a real heavy hitter. I don't know what they can make, honestly, because at this point, I mean, it's just like, I don't really see a purpose. I mean, if, especially if you have a PC, a Wii U, and a PS4, what's the real point of an Xbox One? I just don't really get it. Um, but in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite Xbox One game. I, I'd love to hear it because I don't really, I don't even think I've ever played an Xbox One. Holy shit, I don't think I ever have. Wow. Yeah, I've... I have I? I don't think I've ever played an Xbox One before. Wow, that's crazy. Huh, that's insane. But yeah, I mean, at this point, there's really nothing out that I know. I think there's a game called Scalebound or something like that it's supposed to be coming out for. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but... Yeah, as it stands, um, it doesn't really have any games, and every game that I can play on my um, Xbox One, I can just play on my PS4 or my PC, so that's really the reason why I don't see a point of buying one, or really ever buying one at this, po at this point in time right now, is because it doesn't have anything. It has really nothing that interests me, and everything I can do on the next box one I can do with what I have now so I just don't see the point of wasting money but if you have an Xbox one that's awesome that's cool you should be having fun with it don't let this video I don't want this to come up as an insult to you if you have one okay I just this is all personal opinion it's my own problem with the Xbox one and I think it's a problem in general to an extent to an extent so take everything I said with a grain of salt I'm just one man on the internet you don't my word is not law by no stretch of the imagination but that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave a rating it only takes a fraction of a second and I will catch you guys later so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and as always have a great day